to be the presidential candidate of Labour Party in the last presidential election sends urgent message to obedience. You see, P2B has used this medium to send message to obedience, his supporters and Labour Party supporters at large. Labour Party supporters and obedience are not happy over the series of adjoinment in the case between P2B and Bola Metinimbu. P2B, who is not happy over the last presidential election, filed petitions, series of petitions, televised and you know, organized you know, petitions against Bola Metinimbu candidacy. Irrespective of the fact that Bola Metinimbu has been sworn in and there has, been, has, there has not been any verdict on that case, that has not stopped the, the doggedness of P2B to make sure he reclaims his mandate in the court of law. But Peter Obi has, you know, often sent a message to his supporters that they shouldn't cause any chaos. He previously sent this message that they shouldn't cause any chaos, that he's going to reclaim his mandate, irrespective of the time it will take him to reclaim that mandate. But on this day of democracy, Nigeria is celebrating democracy. Peter Obi has deemed it fit to send a message across to supporters and Nigeria at large. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party says he won't relent in his fight to bring about the leadership that Nigerians deserve. In a Democracy Day message, Peter B told Nigerians that they should be inspired to correct the errors of the 2023 general elections. Peter B on June 12, 1993, stated that their unreserved you know, preference for true democracy and choose a transparent voting system despite being under military rule. He stated it that, you know, Nigeria embraced democracy in 1993 and they has, he stated that they made it in a way where it would be favorable for a transparent and voting system despite that then was under military, military rule. But now that is, we are under democratic rule, you know, there are continuous irregularities and discrepancies. And Peter has sent this message urgently to obedience, Nigerians and everyone at large. That they should you know, reflect on this democracy day and know that it is a time to correct all the irregularities, to correct all the fraudulent activities, to collect, to correct all the you know ballot snatching and all the discrepancies that occurred in that election. This is an indirect message to Bola Metinimbu and the APC at large. P2B has told the supporters that they should you know they shouldn't cause any chaos, that he's about to reclaim his mandate. And this is a democratic message P2B has sent across. It is a touching message and it has caused a whole lot of reactions. So many persons have, you know, begin to react over it. Despite the fact that, you know, June 12, 1993, when Nigeria got the democracy, it was transparent even as it was under military rule. But now that we are in a democratic rule, there are still fraudulent activities occurring in a democratic manner of voting. What do you feel over this P2B's message to Nigerians and, and supporters of P2B? React on the comment section. Also, use this medium to advise Nigerians, advise Bola Metinimbu, that he should probably work out modalities to make sure that all the electoral process in the country is minimized from fraudulent activity. And also, advise the court in the comment section that they should give a verdict to this you know, P2B's petition as against the victory and the good democratic rule of the country. Don't forget to share this video, like this video, and do well to always hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when I drop more trending videos.